Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a collab with another YouTuber and it is a question uh, collab. It's a 32 question tag is what it is. And I copied them, I printed them off so I wouldn't have to use my phone to uh, look at them. But I had to look on my phone <laughs> to remember exactly which YouTuber it was I was talking to about doing this collab. Anyway, her name is, or her YouTube channel is just J U S T and A N N E Ragnick, R A N K I N, and I'm sure I butchered that last name, and if I did, I'm so sorry. But it is a 32 question tag. I got me some water here for 32 questions and that kind of thing. It may be a long thing. Okay. Question one for the video is, do you sleep with your closet door open or closed? Well, my closet door is open um, in my bedroom. The other two bedrooms, which one is my beauty room and one is my, my niece's room, they're closed. Uh, they're both storage closets, um, so they're closed. But my bedroom door is, or my bedroom closet is opened. It's a big walk-in closet, so I'll just keep it open. Question two, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Well, of course I do, <clears throat> and here's why. Um, the hotels we stay at is really nice hotels. They have really nice shampoos and conditioners and lotions and soaps and that kind of thing. And what I do is I bring them home with me, and then if we're traveling somewhere else, uh, like to stay at family's houses or something like that, then I carry those with us so that way we've got our shampoo and our conditioner. And it's almost the same because we use, Josh uses Dove and I use Soap and Glory. And then for shampoo I use a uh, bed head and Josh has no hair so he just uses his body wash for his head. He may kill me for that but anyway. Question three. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or untucked? Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Okay. I used to be a huge nut about this. I always had to have my sheet, the flat sheets, what they're talking about, tucked under and what they call hospital cornered, where you pull up the extra and put the other under, and it makes this really crisp, clean sheet. Since I've went through a hysterectomy and I've been through menopause, sheet is untucked because a lot of the times I wake up in the middle of the night and I find myself completely uncovered. Um, I can't sleep with socks on my feet. I can't sleep with anything around my feet. Um, I have to have them out in the air. So, untucked. Number four. Have you ever stolen a street sign? No. Never. I have no use for a street sign. In my whole life, I've never needed a street sign. Question five. Do you cut out coupons and then never use them? Yes. Um, a lot of times, I know a couple of times I've cut out coupons for beauty supplies like Maybelline or Rev, uh, Revlon or CoverGirl and I've I'm pulling at my stripe and I've went to Walmart, Target, wherever and they've not had a particular product, product I'm looking for and the coupon runs out like that day or the next day then I'll just leave them there. Um, I have been known to leave coupons at the house and forget them when I've made my shopping list and they run out that day and I've had to throw them away and that breaks my heart. Question six, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swamp of bees? Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Well, um, I'm not allergic to bees, but they hurt like a dickens when you're stung by them. A bear, uh, ooh, that's a tough question. Um, and neither's not an option. <laughs> Probably... A bee. I could survive a bee sting um, because I'm not allergic. A bear, you're less likely in the neck of the woods I live in, which is Virginia. Um, there is bears here. I mean, they walk up and down the road just like they own it. So, and I mean, I've seen them in my backyard, baby ones. And if there's a baby, there's a mama. Uh, you're less likely to survive a bear attack. So, I think the bees. Do you always smile for pictures? Yes, I always smile for pictures. Unless my niece is just driving me bananas, snapping pictures, and then I get annoyed and I'm just looking at her like, 
child one more picture <laughs> but yes most of the time I do style for pictures do you ever count your steps when you walk count your steps when you walk I don't know what I, I mean there's I have an iPhone and it counts my steps I mean I have an Apple watch and it counts my steps um but I don't use like a pedometer or anything like that so that's a double question for me uh, yes and no. Number nine. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yes. <laughs> if you if you live in the mountain areas and you go hiking or you go four wheeling or you go dirt bike riding, what I did as a kid, um, or you're out joy riding in a four wheel drive truck up in the mountains and you gotta pee, then yeah, you get out in the woods and you pee. So yes, I have. <laughs> um, question ten. Do you still watch cartoons? But of course. Um, and any adult that says they don't is a liar. Even even with no kids, I watch cartoons. Uh, when we first got Smokey at six weeks old, Scooby-Doo is now his favorite cartoon. And Tom and Jerry. So, yeah. Question 11. Would you... Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Uh... I'd rather not say. <laughs> no. Um, probably in the ground. I mean, where else would you hide buried treasure but in the ground? Um, 12. Do you drink... What do you drink with dinner? Water. I always drink water. 99% um, of the time, I've got my little Yeti cup here that I had done by Plums and Pie. It's a local company that do decals and I bought the cut from them and the decal and it was 30 bucks and this gets filled about 10 to 12 times a day with ice water and I drink water all the time. All right 13 question 13 what do you dip your chicken nuggets in? Um I don't eat fast food so I don't do chicken nuggets out. If I buy chicken nuggets at the store and I eat them at home it's ketchup. So, catch it. 14. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? Uh, what movies could you watch over and over and still love? I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. So, uh, Breakfast Club, 16 Candles. Um, I never get tired of anywhere but here. Uh... San Andreas is one of my favorite movies. I'm trying to name some that are, you know, um, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, uh, Leo and Stench. I mean, I've got over 100 movies that we've bought because I could watch them over and over and over and never get tired of them. But I guess it doesn't say, it doesn't say categories. It just says movies. I don't know. 15, were you ever a Girl Scout? No. 16. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? Absolutely not. It's against my religion. And by my religion, I mean by the Bible. Uh, 17. <laughs> Could you change the oil in your car? Yes, and I have. 18. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Yes, I've gotten two. No, three. I've gotten three since I was 16. I've gotten three since I was 16. 19, are you afraid of heights? Uh, when I was younger, no. Now, yes, I'm petrified of them. Um, since I had these direct to me, I've got a really bad fear of, like, heights and enclosed spaces. Like, I couldn't be in my beauty room with the door closed and I'm okay, but I can't go into, like, a smaller area and be shut in. Like, Maddie went and shut me into the pantry the other day and I freaked out on her. I can't. That's too small. I can't. No. And no to the Fred Heights. Yes, I'm petrified of Fred Heights now. I used to ride a roller coaster and get off and want to do it again. Or ride the Ferris wheel and get stopped, stuck at the very top and I was fine. Now, I freak out. It's the anxiety. Question 20. Do you sing in the car? Yes. Question 21. A Christmas Is Christmas stressful? Yes and no. Um, Christmas for me is believing... Or knowing that, you know, that's Jesus' birthday. 
The gift part is knowing that the reason we do gifts is because of the three wise men that gave to Jesus uh, on his birthday. Stressful for me is trying to get my house decorated, Mama's house decorated, uh, helping her with gifts she's got to buy for people, and then buying for both sides of our family and, and them telling us what they want or what they would like to have. So it's a little stressful. It's not like... To the point to where I want to just say, I'm not doing Christmas no more. Well, I have done that a couple of times. But I've never went through with it. Okay, question 22. Occupation you wanted to be when you were a kid. Uh, I wanted to be a nurse. And I got talked into doing cosmetology in high school at the uh, technical, school, technical school here in Wise County. And got my license. And after the two years was up to go back and renew, I didn't do it. And I was in EMS and working full time and just, you know, I had gotten married and didn't follow through with it. Um, I got hurt in, oh, oh, four, oh, five, oh, five. And I had just went to the college and got all my, uh, talked to the guidance counselor, the whatever they are called now in college. Um career opportunist or something like that and gotten all the information on what I needed to do to get back into college and if my credits was still there at the local college to get my LP in. And then I got hurt a week later. So apparently it wasn't meant for me to be. Question uh, 23. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. And to follow this question, there, it's not a follow question. It says, do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. Uh, have I seen ghosts? Yes, I have. They're not harmful ghosts. They're, um, I have seen my best friend David who passed away from a heart condition. And I have seen um, my mama Edith, my mama Edie, um, a couple of times. So, yeah, I do believe in ghosts. Question 24, the first concert you ever went to Crystal Gale at Norton High School. And when she came out on stage with that long, blonde, dragging the floor ground hair, I was in heaven. Question 25. Would you prefer to shop at Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Target. Um, but we don't have a Target close to us. The closest one's 30 minutes away, so Walmart's the next one. But Target, definitely. Do you prefer, question 26, do you prefer Nike or Adidas? Neither one. I prefer Under Armour tennis shoes. They don't hurt my feet. They don't bother my feet. They're very lightweight and they are comfortable. 27, can you curl your tongue? And I think they're talking about the... <laughs> that thing, I can kind of do it. I can't do it real good though. 28. Have you ever cried because you were happy? Yes, I have cried because I was so happy. Question 29. The last concert you saw? Garth Brooks was the last concert I saw. We went two years ago and seen him in Knoxville when he came back touring. Question 30. Can you swim well? Yes, I can. I used to be a lifeguard. 31. Can you knit or crochet? No. I barely use the sewing machine. I can hand, I can hand stitch. I can hand sew, but I can't. No. Third question 32. Final and last one. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Well, you guys answer that in the comments because you all know my answer. I'm a dog person. Uh, cats are okay as long as they're outside and they're not mine <laughs> and they're not spraying. You know, for the males that's not been neutered. Um... But uh, I'm a dog person. So this is a, a 32 question tag. If you all have a YouTube channel, I urge you to do it. If you have Facebook and you want to get a copy of this or, you know, listen to the questions or write them down, um, do it on Facebook. That's fine. It sounds fun to me. Um, I'm going to link her page down. She's a new uh, YouTuber. She just started her channel, I think, three or four months ago. She had 28 the night that I talked to her about doing this. Um, so, yeah. I thought it would be fun and something different. And I didn't have to do makeup. And I could just sit here and talk to you all. And um, 
I had a rough night last night. I had a rough night the night before. Baddie stayed with us Friday night and slept in her bed. And Saturday night, she slept with me and was all over the bed, so I didn't sleep. And then last night, I had really bad muscle cramps and leg cramps and things because of the rain. It's raining here today and tomorrow, so I had a rough night. So I thought this would be fun to do. I know I'm supposed to be filming some prom looks. Uh, those will probably go up next week. I'll try to get on this weekend. Um, I just don't feel like really filming any kind of makeup. I'm doing makeup today. I'm just, I'm just not really in the mood to do it. And if I'm not in the mood to do it, then my work's going to show. So I thought this would be fun. So, uh, you know, day or night, wherever you are, be safe and be careful. As always, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I urge you to check her out. She's She's got a really cute personality. Uh, she seems really fun. Um, I just happened to find her. Just, you know, scrolling through and looking for new YouTubers. And thought, you know, this seems like a fun collab that neither one of us would have to pay any money for. And it would help, you know get to know me a little bit better or you know things like that if you have any questions you want to ask me um that you would like for me to do another like question asked in the video type thing tag put them in the comments below thumbs up if you like these kind of videos uh remember what i said about the analyst i done that on facebook live i showed you all how it works um but yeah you know as always remember our military our first responders our ems our police and our fire and um Always be kind to each other. That's all we have to do in this world is be kind and smile and love each other. I will talk to you all later. I'm working on a video now to edit. And you all have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.